AMD's pushing the limits again, a recent shipping manifest has revealed the jaw-dropping 96-core Ryzen Threadripper 9000 flagship CPU alongside a 16-core entry-level variant. But that's not all, AMD has also released ROCM 6.3, packed with exciting updates for developers and pros alike. In today's video, we'll dive into the shipping manifest and talk about the leaked Threadripper 9000 CPUs. We will also break down what's new in ROCM 6.3. Stick around because trust me, you don't want to miss this. Welcome back to LA Electronics, your ultimate destination for the latest and greatest in PC tech news and leaks, especially when it comes to GPUs and CPUs. If you're serious about staying ahead of the curve, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you're always in the loop. Also, be sure to follow me on X where I post everything first before going in depth in the videos. In today's video, we're diving into an exciting discovery, a shipping manifest revealing two Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs. We've got the entry level model with 16 cores and the beastly flagship rocking a jaw-dropping 96 cores, but that's not all. After breaking down these powerhouse processors, we'll explore everything new in AMD's freshly released ROCM 6.3 update. There's a ton to unpack, so without further ado, let's jump right in. A trusted leaker on X known as Ulrak29 or Everest has shared a jaw-dropping photo of a shipping manifest revealing two AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs. The lineup includes an entry-level 16-core version and a monstrous 96-core flagship. Codename Shimada P these CPUs are powered by AMD's cutting-edge Zen 5 architecture and will be compatible with the huge SP6 socket. Here's where it gets exciting. The 16-core 32-thread CPU features dual 8-core CCDs, while the 96-core 192-thread powerhouse boasts an impressive 12 CCDs with 8 cores each. This flagship packs 32 megabytes of L3 cache per CCD, totaling a whopping massive 380 84 megabytes of L3 cache, matching the Zen 4 based Ryzen Threadripper Pro 7995WX. Expectations are high that these CPUs will retain the same 350 watt TDP, 128 PCIe lanes, and support for TRX50 and WRX90 chipsets. The real game changer, the Zen 5 architecture and AMD shift to a newer TSMC process node, potentially bringing better efficiency and performance. Fingers crossed though as AMD might even incorporate their new 3D vCache technology into these Shimada Peak beasts. What is your take on these Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs? Will AMD use their new cutting edge 3D vCache tech? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Now let's dive into these exciting updates AMD rolled out with their ROCM 6.3 release. If you're loving the content and want to help keep it coming, consider buying me a coffee. Your support fuels each video, whether it's the latest tech news, detailed repair guides, or honest reviews. Every coffee you buy goes right back into the channel, helping me upgrade gear, improve the setup, and stay energized to bring you the best in PC tech news and leaks. Whether it's one coffee or a few, each $5 brew makes a huge difference, and I can't thank you enough for keeping this channel going strong. Your support truly means everything to me. AMD has just rolled out ROCM 6.3, packed with groundbreaking features and optimizations to supercharge AI and HPC workloads. Let's break it down. The update introduces SG Lang integration for accelerated AI inferencing and re-engineered Flash Attention 2 for enhanced AI training and inference. Multi-node Fast Fourier Transform or FFT capabilities, a brand new Fortran compiler, and improved computer vision libraries like ROC Decode, ROC JPEG, and ROC AL. First up, SG Lang, a runtime now supported in ROCM 6.3, is purpose built for optimizing inference on advanced models like large language models or LLMs and vertical lift models or VLMs running on AMD Instinct GPUs. According to AMD, this brings up to six times higher throughput and simplifies workflows with Python integration and pre-configured ROCM Docker containers. Next, AMD's revamped Flash Attention 2 delivers significant performance boosts and forward and backward passes for transformers, a critical improvement for AI model training. On top of that, ROCM 6.3 debuts a powerful Fortran compiler that supports direct GPU offloading, backward compatibility, and seamless integration with HIP kernels and ROCM libraries. This is a game changer for developers leveraging legacy code bases. Meanwhile, multi node FFT support in ROC FFT simplifies scaling across the nodes, enhancing performance for large scale computations. Lastly, updates to computer vision libraries like ROC Decode, ROC 
JPEG and ROC AL bring support for the AV1 codec, GPU accelerated JPEG decoding, and improvised audio augmentation capabilities. AMD emphasizes that ROC M6.3 delivers cutting edge tools to simplify development while driving better performance and scalability for AI and HPC workloads, all while maintaining a commitment to open source development. What do you think about this robust update? Drop your thoughts on ROC M6.3 in the comments down below and don't forget to share your opinions on the Ryzen Threadripper 9000 CPUs too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. It's a small click that makes a huge difference for the channel. Curious about AMD's game changing move to reverse their 3D chip stack or want the scoop on the Ryzen AI 300 APUs? Click the card in the top right corner to catch my deep dive on that in my previous video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.